What's up, y'all? This is Captain Diesel here coming to you live with a workout in which I did not create. This workout is actually from the long list of CrossFit workouts that we see every day. And this one is actually an interval, aka every minute on the minute workout, which focuses on uh, leg work, technique and shoulder mobility. And the workout I'm gonna be doing today is called Evil Imam, which stands for every minute on the minute. It consists of 14 minutes of 10 thrusters, followed by 20 kettlebell swings. But the way this workout is gonna go is, at the start, at the start of the running clock, I'm going to be performing an odd set of 10 thrusters and then rest the remaining time until that one minute is up. And then I'm going to start on 20 kettlebell swings and then I'm going to rest the remaining in the remainder of that time until that third round or third minute. And then the cycle continues until the 14 minutes are up. And I'll show you those two movements uh, right now. Here we go. All right, so the first movement we got is that thruster in which I'll be using this rucksack for him, as well as the kettlebell swing in place of the, the barbell and kettlebell. What that thrust is going to look like. Obviously, the first rep is going to start from the ground. There's two ways to do a thruster. Either use that full clean, stand it up, reset, hips back, knees out, and then go down to that squat. Make sure this hip crease below knee crease. Stand back up nice and tall, press up. Lock out and squeeze. Make sure you, your arms and your elbows are locked out at the top in order for a rep to count. That second way, our variation of thruster is that full throttle technique. Use squat clean, push press, squeeze and lock out at the top. Oh yeah, and head through in order for that rep to count. Those are three important keys to doing this thruster. Full depth squat, stand up, and standing up to, to strict pressing, making sure your arms and elbows are locked out at the top. Oh yeah, and, and make sure you Push your head through as you do that press. Like for example, I go down to my thruster, but the barbell's in front of me, in front of my face. And that's uh, really a no rep. You do that press, you gotta make sure you push your head through another way. Is you just you go into that thruster, you squat down halfway, and, and then press it up. You're doing a you're just doing a push press at that point. That's also a no rep. You have to squat all the way down. It's that full go into that full depth squat. Another common fault is you go into that full depth squat, stand up, but you don't lock out at the top. That's no rep also. You gotta make sure you lock out at the top every time and push your head through. All right, 
so, so, that, so that's the thrust. So the next movement is kettlebell swing. What that looks like is that kettlebell swing. High back swing at eye level. Or if you want to, you can use that T-Rex. Have your arms out like a T-Rex. Oh. Hike back, eye level. I'll be doing 20 of them. 20 of those, I should say. All right, so those are the two movements I'll be doing in this interval workout. for all 14 minutes, you know, one minute, 10 thrusters, then rest the remaining time, then the second minute, 20 cowbell swings, then rest the remaining time, and then so forth until the 14 minutes are up. And uh, even if it takes you to hold 14 minutes, the whole minute, to do 10 thrusters or 20 kettlebell swings. That's okay too. E even if you don't get all 10 or all 20, all 10 thrusters or all 10 or all 20 kettlebell swings within the, the full minute, that's fine too. And progress is progress. And like I said, the only way you lose is if you don't try. So as long as you give it your best, that's all that matters. All right, so without further ado, here's today's interval workout. Evil Imam every minute on the minute. Let's get it.
Yeah.
And that was the end of today's answer of all workout. Evil E-mom, every minute on the minute. And just so we're clear. Fourteen minutes of pure brutality, but in a good way. But I managed to to do. I managed to do all ten thrusts and all twenty kettlebell swings unbroken each minute. That's by far a big win. And I'm hum humbly proud of the fact that I kept charging hard throughout this interval workout. Because it sure was a tough one. But yeah, that's one of the things I've got to mention too. One of the goals, the goal is, the goal to doing this interval workout is to try to get, uh, try to go unbroken for all 10 reps of thrusters and all 20 reps of kettlebell swings. It's not required, but it helps. And hey, like I said, even if it takes you, even if you have to split the reps as needed, just stay consistent the whole time and stay efficient the whole time. That's key. And focus on the technique as well. That's most important. Safety and technique. are most important to not just this workout but any workout and any functional movement you do but yeah overall this is a and this workout is worth doing and I encourage every single one of you to give it a try Even if you don't get all 10 reps of thrusters in the, within that full minute or 20, or even if you don't get all 20 kettlebell swings within that full minute, that's all right too. Just, uh, just move on to the next thing. So I'd much rather you take your time and do each repetition of a functional movement correctly then rush reps and risk an injury thus get a failed rep or a no rep especially at competitions and even if it takes you the whole minute to do 10 thrusters or 20 kettlebell swings. As long as you, as long as you get them done in that full minute, that's all that matters. Progress is progress. I can't stress that enough. It doesn't matter who's got the fastest time or Or who got, who's got more reps than you? No, it's not about that. Yes, it's good to be competitive, but it's also important to have fun. And that's what fitness is all about. Having fun and good sportsmanship at the end of the day. Because like I always say, 
people who compete in the games goes into strict training. They do it to compete for a crown that doesn't last. But we do it to compete for a crown that lasts forever. First Corinthians 9.25. And I encourage every single one of you to keep uh, that positive mindset. Whether you're uh, competing in a functional fitness competition or, or I don't know, basketball tournament or Brazilian jiu-jitsu. karate or even running just go out there and give it your very best because at the end of the day that's what counts until next time scratch that and that was my uh a mini devotion for today. Until next time, I'm Captain Diesel. Keep grinding, keep striving, keep striving for greatness. And be stronger, always be stronger than the doubts in your head. And oh yeah, put, keep, your, keep all of your faith and trust in God. For he will not lead you astray, but will light your way. And that's why I want, and that, that was my final closing that I want to leave y'all with today. Until next time, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.